Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna go over Luminar Neo. This is a very popular photo editing software and it has many rich features. They have a lot of AI tools at your disposal amongst other things as well. And I think this software is great for people who are not well-versed in photo editing. They have tools in here that can help speed up your editing so that you don't have to go into Photoshop and spend hours learning how to do a certain thing. In today's video, I wanna go over how I would use Luminar Neo and this is coming from some Someone who shoots portraits and uh, shoots a lot of travel stuff and I'll be going over some shots that I took when I was when I went to Spain in Sevilla I thought Luminar would be a perfect tool to edit some of these shots I took right here All right the first thing I want to show you is some of the new generative tools that Luminar has they have gen erase gen swap and gen expand so I'm gonna take this photo right here that I took in Sevilla it's just nothing too special it is a picture of a palm tree there are some distractions that i want to sh uh, show you guys like this bush right here what i'm using is now is jenny race so what uh, luminar is going to do is it's going to analyze the scene and then just get rid of this for me in the best possible way and let's take a look while it's do its thing and voila it disappeared and it looks great <laughs> look at that that is pretty pretty cool and let's go out and I'm gonna show you guys gen swap so let's go. what it is is it's gonna replace specific elements with the prompts that you give uh, to the AI right here so again I'm gonna just color this because it is a little bit of a distraction instead of a bush right here how about I put balloons and let's see what Luminar Neo comes up with <laughs> And voila, <laughs> it provides you with balloons. And I will go out and show you uh, Generative Expand. Now, if you guys know about Adobe Photoshop and whatnot, you know that now you can actually, actually expand your photos a little bit. Let's expand this, shall we? And there you go. Did what it thought was correct, which is adding this little uh, cobblestone the stone right here so it looks like it's on top of some sort of a fort yeah it's, it's it's a tool for you guys to use when you guys need it and obviously it did say that you need to expand it little by little not do big chunks like what I did now that I showed you how the generative tools use I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I use some of the features that I use in this program the first thing I want to share are the luminar presets uh, they have some pretty good presets here in my opinion to start with I'm going and I'm going to go in and edit this photo that I took in Sevilla right here this is that palace that it's known for I forgot what it's called already I'm sorry and um, I'm just gonna use one of these presets right here the sunset collection looks interesting so if you want, you can go over it. Argent, Dream Film, Dream Film, Hyperdrive, Impact, and Toscana looks nice. I'm gonna check this out. Right now, Toscana looks too heavy-handed, so I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. Uh, we're not gonna use that at full power, and there's that. And afterwards, I wanna edit this a little bit more, and I'm going to go into uh, the enhance section and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to use artificial intelligence to analyze your photos so it just makes everything a little bit brighter and gives you a little, little bit more contrast which I like and let's see what it does with the give the sky a little bit more pop and then here is the sky AI for this photo let's see let's see what it could do oh so it made it into a, uh, a nighttime galaxy shot if that's what you want, but we're not gonna touch this right now. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Like, see, you like, if you guys don't know how to, you know, do sky replacement and add stars and stuff, Luminar is really good for these types of stuff. So you guys can go nuts and just get really, really creative with this kind of stuff. But we're not gonna be using that today. We're just gonna keep it simple. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of touch up for, for my taste. And just uh, push down the blacks a little, push up the whites just a bit, bit to give more contrast. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Then what I want to go do is go into the mystical and this is going to give you that uh, dreamy look that 
that everyone loves so if you guys need that dreamy look and you don't know how to do it in Photoshop and stuff and you guys want to take away that guessing game Luminar has all these tools for you to just mess around with let's see get that dreaminess going so you see it just made everything much smoother I gave you that soft dreamy look this is the this is the before this is the after you see it's a little bit little bit softer and again before after before after and this is just with the luminar preset the sunset preset in luminar and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into glow and i'm going to add a little bit of glow that you see and again i'm going to go with or the orton effect because that's the thing that i like and this is going to give it that nice glow and that just little bit of oomph in your image let's see what it looks like this is what it's supposed to do and i'm just gonna put it like right here let me see how that looks yeah see it just gives everyone it just gives this nice little glow that i like something like that that looks pretty cool i think this is done for me right now let's see what else we can go into color harmony balance balance it brilliance warmth And we are done. That looks like a good. That looks like a good image. Oh, I'm gonna export this. And this is what it looks like. Before, after, before, after. And all I did was just use one of the presets, and then just slightly, slightly touched up, touch it up to my liking. Let's go into a different photo. We're going to go into the portrait since this is a portrait of my lovely, lovely, beautiful wife here. And we're gonna go experimental because this is a nighttime shot and I want something that looks interesting, that looks cool. And we're gonna go through them. Ooh, look, burned film looks cool. It looks very interesting. Celebrate, cold frame looks cool. Color ramp, glow, and feathered light. And I think I wanna go with feather light and just do something like this. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to go into color, go into color and just change the white balance around. I, I want to make it more cool to match the, the vibes and then raise the tint up. And let's see here. Play with, mess up, mess with the curves a little bit. And I think this looks good. And I'm gonna leave it as that. And this is what you get before, after, before, after. So Luminar is pretty cool. They add a layer. This is the layer that they use to add the overlay on top. So yeah, it just gives you like a little bit of light leaks and stuff like that. I think it's pretty interesting. And again, if you guys don't know how to edit, you guys can come up, come in here and Luminar will provide you with a few ideas and few inspirations for you to work with and you can just make it your own. Let's move on to this beautiful guy right here. Who is this guy right here? Who the heck is this guy right here? Look at that handsome fella. Isn't he, isn't he handsome guys? <laughs> oh man. He has a face that only a mother would love. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go into Essence and I'm gonna just mess around, see what's good. With the portrait presets, they also made my face smaller. Look, you can see here, this is the, this is one without making my face slim and this is making my face slim. You see the difference? That it, it's like very slight, very slight. But I'm gonna use this one just in case because I like the color grading on, on this already. And uh, what I wanna do is just mess around with the skin retouching because I am a portrait photographer and skin retouching is a very important aspect of um, portrait photography. So we just wanna do a little bit of skin retouching to get rid of some imperfections and get rid of some uneven areas. So why don't we go into the face section and see what's good right here. And as you can see, we can like boost up the face light a little bit to just to make it brighter. And again, before, after, before, after. And look, you don't want to slim it down that much. So I'll, I'll advise you to use this at your discretion. Normally when I use the slim face, it's because the lens sometimes has a certain like level of distortion. So what I would do is like, I would try to slim it down to what I remember the sub, the model looks like. You don't want to go overboard because then it looks like abnormal it doesn't look it looks weird so for me I'll, I'll just stick to five I'll, you know 
I could, my face could drop like five pounds, so let's do that. <laughs> oh, beautiful. He looks so good right now. Oh my goodness. This is freaking embarrassing. <laughs> so with the iris, I'm gonna give myself, give that iris flare, give that eyes a little bit of twinkle, a little bit of pop. Before, after, before, after. Look, it looks like I'm wearing contacts. And then I'm gonna I whiten my eyes a little bit because my eyes are a little bit brown, but you don't wanna do it too much because then it just looks too scary. And we're gonna do a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And then we're gonna go eye enhancer. Let's see what the eye enhancer do at, at 100%. You don't wanna crank everything up to 100%. So, and the dark circles, I guess I can remove some dark circles here. Before, after. Okay. Before, after, before, after. That's too much. We'll, we'll, we'll make it natural. We'll make it like 30. And then if you want to improve eyebrows as well, the eyebrows will get darker and it just makes everything a little bit sharper. So we don't need to go overboard with that. Something like that looks good. What the hell am I doing with my mouth? I'm just gonna give my lips a little bit of saturation and a little bit of redness to make it look healthy. And I'm not showing any teeth, that's fine. And from here, let's do skin defect removal. Let's see what, does it remove anything? Ah, okay, yeah, it removed, it removed some pimples right here, that's good. So it does do stuff. And then from here, I'll just slide it up to like 15%. There we go, let's see how it looks. Before, after, before, after. And it got rid of some stuff right here. And it made my skin look like a baby's butt. So smooth, everybody. <laughs> and then we're gonna just sh remove some shine. And for contrast, let's see what it does. Okay, we'll just play around with this. Mid-tone contrast, nope, don't need that. Shadow contrast, I would like to boost it up a little bit. And color harmony, so this is again just, and again, this is me just adjusting it to taste. Boost it up by five. I wanted, I wanna give this portrait a little bit of punch. See, color contrast, you don't want that, right? Color contrast, and let's see what looks good. Always do before and after to see where you're at. And let's see, huh, that looks cool. There we go. Look at that handsome devil right there, man. I would date me. And again, I did everything with just the one preset and I went in here and just did some skin retouching very very quick and it got me to this result which i think is pretty decent so this is the before and this is the after before after that looks pretty damn good guys i'm excited i'm gonna export this so for my last photo i want to edit this photo right here i remember hearing peter mckinnon says that he made ten thousand dollars over over the course of like four or five years it's one image that he took and it's with a, a leaf Hopefully, I'm gonna submit this and I, I can get around $10,000 as well. <laughs> and I like the scenery collection. I'm gonna sh uh, show you guys what's good here. There's clean and sharp. Fast fix looks pretty cool too. Uh, pleasing touch. More volume. Mm, uh, no, we don't want that. We don't want none of that. From what I like, I like fast fix. We're gonna do this at 100% and then we're just gonna go into edit. And then uh, we're gonna go into super sharp. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make, make the leaf like incredibly, incredibly sharp just so we can get some detail. And boom, I look at that. It just gave it a little bit of uh, that punchy crispness that I like. You can see a bunch of details on the leaves, which is great. And this was used in uh, super sharp pro. It just made the photo look extra crispy, which I freaking like. Structure AI. Now this is like clarity. Make this make this leaf pop a little bit. Small detail. Oh, small detail. Nope. Medium. Large detail. So let's see. Large detail. Maybe a little bit. Sharpen. Damn, that's crazy. Before, after, before, after. That looks like a pretty, pretty, pretty dope photo. I'm pretty happy with this. And I don't want to add anything else because uh, with stock photos, they like just like clean photos. You don't need to go heavy handed with the editing. So we're going to leave it as is. And uh, with this photo, all I did was just apply a preset. 
I played around with the super sharp AI to just give that, give my leaf a little bit more crispness in the shot because that's what I want uh, the viewers to see first. Additionally, all I did afterward was just, um, again, add in more details, uh, small, medium, large, and as well as sharpening the images a little bit. And this is the final result of that. Very minor work, just a little bit of touch-ups or after before after and i think that looks pretty good holy crap <laughs> i think that looks freaking awesome so i'm gonna export this right now because i'm gonna and boom all right there you have it folks i hope you guys enjoyed this little overview of luminar neo if you're interested go ahead and try it out for yourself to see if this software could fit in your workflow luminar does give a seven day free trial if you are curious about this and they also have a 30 day uh, money back uh, guarantee and if you are considering getting it luminar is providing you guys with a 10 percent discount code the code is i am tongue 10 all caps and i'll leave that down in the description also and consider subscribing and liking if you haven't already and once again special thanks to luminar for sponsoring this video and thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.